paper. Okay, people, this is our homework for Wednesday, more FSA practice questions. So if you're watching this video, you should be uh, solving these problems, pausing the video, solving them, then listening to me and my team's explanation. So everybody at home, uh, pause and solve number 31. Okay, guys, so number 31 says Dave bought four packets of pies. Three of the packets had 12 pies and one had 10. Which number sentence shows the total number of pies Dave bought? Anybody have any thoughts on? I know you guys aren't getting tons of time um, to look at this. So he bought four packets of pie, five, pies. Well, there's no four on any of these problems. So well, that's, that's because that's, yeah, three, that's still three okay. of them had 12 and only one had 10. Yeah. So, so we're definitely going to be adding the 10 in at the end. Don't you agree? Yeah. Multiplying by 10 is not going to work. So these two get out right away. So now which one of those would show us three packets with 12 pies in each one? Well, if you add um, 12 and three, um, you'd get 14. No, 15, sorry, 15. And that doesn't make sense because you have packets with 12. Yeah, three 12s a pack. It's got to be like 36 pies, right? So it's got to be C. That's a lot of pies. So I hope everybody sees that they want you to take the three packets times 12 to find out how many pies and then add in the 10. Find out how many pies. Got it? All right. Mm -hmm. Number 32, pause it and figure it out. Okay, so people, number 32, you just have to figure out, it's got feet, inches, and yards. Do you, do you guys know how many um, feet are in a yard? Uh, six. Um, no, because, well. One um, yard equals how many feet? 12. No, yeah, six, sorry. Thinking 12 inches in one foot, so yeah. Three. How many yards, how many feet are in a yard? Three. Uh, three. It's three, right? So if we have three yards, that's three times three, which equals what? Nine. So one of the answers is nine. Mm -hmm. Now, none of these other choices for feet can be right because it can only be one answer, right? So now we need to figure out how many inches are in a foot. And you should know that one. How many is it? 12. 12. So we know that we've got nine feet. So we multiply that by nine and you'd get 108. So your two answers are nine and 108. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're at home, pause the video and try to solve number 33. Okay, guys, so number 33 wants us to find the expression down here that would show uh, the cost of doing these things. Now, this one's a little confusing, but you can eliminate the choices that don't make sense because this is basically saying total cost in dollars of CDs, DVDs for weeks. So CDs cost $2. So we need to find out for every C, it would be, the two and the C have to go together, right? Well, it goes together in every one of these, so we can't eliminate any of those. Then it says DVDs are $3. So the three and the D need to go together and be multiplied. But that's the same, right? Yeah. And then we know that when we put those together and multiply them by W, uh, that is the amount of weeks, right? So our answer has to have a W in it because that for weeks right here, right? Yeah. To show us the total cost. So this one doesn't have a W in it, so it gets eliminated. Yeah. So which one of these would show, we need to get the total cost of the CDs and DVDs and then multiply it by the amount of weeks that we have them, right? Well, this one says plus weeks, so that can't be it. So now what about the last two? Which one makes sense? Um, B? Yeah. got to be B, right? Because you have to multiply the weeks by both of these. In this one, the week is just multiplying by the CDs, right? Oh. So your answer would be B. Good job. We'll take some time. We can think about these. That's good. We're going to skip number 34 because I think it's wrong. Let's look at number 35. Pause the video at home. Number 35 is simple as heck. Okay, sorry. 
Girls, um, what's the formula for volume? Uh, length oh, times width times height. Yep, length times width times height. So our length is one, two, three. And even if you go out of order, it doesn't matter. One, two for the width. And one, two, two three, four for the height. Um, well, three times. Yep, yeah, you're doing it. Four, Everybody four. good with that? Yeah. On your paper, just eliminate number 34 because I think it's wrong. I don't like it. No, 34. You don't like it. All right, people at home, pause and try to figure out this coordinate. Okay, girls, let's okay. look. So it wants us to complete so. the table to show the coordinates of the three points. So we've got the X and the Y. X goes this way, yep. Y goes this way, right? Mm -hmm. So we wanna know where point number one is for X. So if I go over point number one is at what number? Three. 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 And then if we go up to Y, it is at what? One. One. Sorry, now sorry. let's go to our next point. Do, 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 it's right here. Five, go up and over, three. Mm -hmm. You guys see how this is going, right? This is pretty easy. You go over yeah. seven. I like grids. And up to five, five. Okay. So make sure you have that chart. I'll probably, I don't know what question I'll ask on the homework for that, who knows. All right, take a second and do number 37. Okay, so this is another formula question, right? They just want to know which one of these we use. So Joanne had three singing lessons one week, three lessons. So there were three lessons. Two lessons went for 45 minutes and one lesson went for 60. So two of them were 45 mins and one was 60 min. Which number sentence could be used to find how many minutes she had singing lessons for? Well, we basically know we have to double this 40, right? Yeah. So we definitely got to see 45 times two in the problem somewhere, right? There's yeah. two of them. So that's leading me to these two. That looks like a good start, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're never going to divide in this problem, are we? Why no. would you? No. Actually, that's not true. You could divide. Think about it. What if we had, what if we added up the minutes 45 twice and then added 60 and divided by three? You could do that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, give me the wrong answer. 45 in it, we need two. So that wouldn't work. This one wants us to add these minutes together and multiply it by two. But does it, do you guys know what the problem is with that? I'll give you a hint. It's this There's number only, right here. yeah. We'd be multiplying that 62 times two, right? But they only, it was only one lesson. Yeah. So that one doesn't work. So what do you girls think between C and D? Which one? I think I, it's C. I agree. Definitely C because you have to add in the 160 minutes right here, right? Mm -hmm. This is again doing 260 minutes. That doesn't work. So this one would be C. All right, good job, good job, good job. All right, number 38. Pause the video and try to solve. All right, girls, you should be able to get this one. Where's that yeah. seven? That is in the thousandth place. place. You have to know this seven is in the thousandths place, and that word is only written in one, one of those, right? So B is your answer. So B is totally the answer. Uh -huh. okay. How many questions are in this? Just asking. Uh, we're doing like four more, I think. Okay, okay. easy. All right, the model below shows one and six one hundred shaded. What decimal represents the part of the model? Write your answer below. Well, this isn't that. But who knows what it is? Um, How many holes do we have? One. One. one so it would be one point um, zero six zero. Zero six. You can put the zero in a font, but yeah. you don't have to. Because remember, this is hundreds, right? Because so look, two zeros right here. So you've got to put the six two places over, right? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, here's a good one, girl. Start working it out now. Okay. A rectangular toy box has a length of 90 centimeters, a width of 30, and a height of 50. Oh, this what is, is the volume oh, of the toy box? They give you the whole thing. These are just big numbers, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't even mess around. I just did nine times five is what, 45? Mm -hmm. Times three is um, 
135. Yeah. And then I got to add in this zero, this zero, and this zero. One, two, three. And I get the answer really quick, right? So even if you just multiply the whole numbers, you know the answer has to have 135 in it. None of these ones do. So that could be one that you get quick on the test, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Glass of water at the temperature of 25 Celsius. Do you rescue the water at the temperature? After 30 minutes. Oh, this is kind of easy. Yeah, you just have to think about it. Yeah, it's so it started at 25. Mm -hmm. It goes up three every 10. And they went 30 minutes. So how many degrees is it going to go up? It's nine. Nine. Thirty-four. Okay. Let's see. Simple, right? Mm-hmm. All right, do number forty-two, girls. And if you're at home, pause it. Two dogs. Two dogs get tickets. Children tickets. Well, twenty. We want to know how much the kids' okay. tickets were, right? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So twenty-two minus. So we spent fifty-four, right? Mm -hmm. We know the adult tickets were twenty-two dollars. Yeah. So that gives us 32. Yeah. So that means the kids' tickets cost $32. And how many did we get? Four. We have to divide, divide by four. Sorry. Equals eight. Good. All right. All right. Pause and do number 43. Girls, start working it out. Okay. This is just a simple adding problem, right? Oh, this is easy. Just one Wait, second. Now, I like to go like this, one and a half uh, plus one and three fourths. And I don't convert it to an improper fraction. I just add up the fractions and then see what happens afterwards. Yeah. So the common denominator is four. So this one's going to stay. This one is going to go to uh, times two. Four. This two goes into this four twice times the two is two fourths. So now I would add these up and I'm going to get two and, and five. five fourths and left then, over, right? Yeah. Then yeah, we have to convert that. I convert this. So the four goes into there one time. So, so that would make it three whole. And four minus five is one left over, and my denominator stays the same. Three and one fourth. So that would give you a C as your answer. Okay, two more. This reading has been running for three hours. Actually, three more. Oh, number 44, simple. Easy. Which one is okay. it, girl? Carry it out first. Oh, um, three minus one, I think. Because you need to figure agree? that out before anything else. Isabel, right? You always do parentheses first in this, right? Yeah. And I know this has gotten us a little mixed up. But remember, it's always parentheses, then exponents. Then your multiplication and division go together, and your adding and subtracting go together, and you go from left to right, right? Yeah. Right, left to right, 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 right. Yes, right. yes, yes, right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> All right, number 45. So this is addition. So it wants us to shade the diagram below. Oh, addition. So there are eight pieces here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is easy. So if I shade in a quarter of them, What's us? a quarter of these, let's do the quarter first. Well, well it's eight, so you got two. So that's two. A quarter of them would be two, right? Mm -hmm. And then three eighths, we don't really have to do anything to figure out. We just shade in three more. Five. Three eighths, right? Yeah. So and the answer. How many do we shade in? Five eighths. Five. Yeah, that's simple, right? This one seems a lot easier than yesterday's. It does. I, I know. How many pounds? Oh, um, how many ounces go into a pound? That's what we need to know, right? Um, you guys know what it is? I think, is it, is it 16? Yes. It is. Now, I'm almost 100% sure they give you an answer, sh a, a formula sheet at the beginning. And this would be one where you should automatically go back to the beginning and go. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. Because um, they probably would say one Pound equals 16 ounces. Okay, so if we know that we have 716 ounces, we 16. want to know how many pounds. This is just a simple division problem, right? It's yeah. not. It's, it's, oh, wait, never mind. 
because we have to divide however many ounces go into a pound. So this is basically figure out how many pounds are in this number, right? Mm -hmm. And if we do out the math, you guys will see that it is. 48. Uh, eight. 48. Okay. 48. Okay. 16. Right. Well, 46 or 16 would be A. All right, let's say goodbye to everybody who's watching our video. Bye, everybody. Bye, people. Good job. Thank you for watching.